Okay, now in this class we will see how we can install the mini cube and cube CTL in the Ubuntu machine. So here I have written all these steps which are required to install the mini cube and cube CTL. So before installing the mini cube, you should have Docker installed already. Okay, otherwise if you have not installed Docker, so you can follow the documentation and you can install it easily. And also, uh, like we are, why we are using Docker here because like Docker is easy to use and easy to. Uh, like Minikube will work easily with the help of Docker when we will use the driver doc, Docker as a driver. Okay, so also you can use VirtualBox, but there, there is a little bit of complications and all that. So we are not using VirtualBox here because we are running the Ubuntu machine in VirtualBox itself. So that will be very uh, complex process. So that's why we are going with the Docker. So let's start with the installation. So here uh, what you can do, you can just search for the Docker install in Ubuntu okay and you will get uh, here on the official documentation of the docker from here you can just follow like if you have already installed the uh, docker then you can just copy up this command and you are just good to go so uh, i just don't demonstrate you uh, actually i have already installed docker so let's do it and then you can do just sudo apt get update then we have this one you, you just you just have to copy and paste thing that's it and then you can install docker easily okay done next you have to do this uh, gpg key okay next this line you have to do curl command okay wait a minute uh, yeah okay here actually it's asking me to overwrite so actually we have already installed so that's why it's showing you can just put it yes but in your case it will not ask you and next what we have to do we have to uh, give the certain permission for that file so you can just give it using this command next you have to use this command to set up the repository okay done next what we have to do we have to update so we can do it using sudo apt get update and then you have to install the docker engine so that's uh, one is also important step you can just do like this done and next we have to nothing we just have to uh, run this hello world command to check whether docker installed or not so here you can see docker installed successfully that's why you can just use the command docker and check so here you can see we are getting some of the information or what commands you will need to use so just clear the screen so with that we finally installed docker successfully Next, moving forward, we have Minikube and Cube CTL installation. So, for the Minikube, uh, sorry, here uh, there is some mistake. Like we have written virtual box, but uh, here we need to write the uh, sorry, what we have to write Docker. You can write like this with Docker setup. Move on the installation. Okay, installing Minikube on your Ubuntu system. So, what we need to do first of all, you will need to download the latest Minikube binary by using this wget command. So you can just copy up this command. Uh, I can provide these in the comment or description section. Okay, just copy it and you can just uh, uh, paste it here and it will install, uh, sorry, it will download this file minikube linux md64. So actually I have already installed it uh, minikube and also uh, uh, you can, like I will demonstrate to how you can do it. Okay. So it will take some time to download that file just let's wait and let's move forward what we have to do next what we have to do you have to just copy this file to this directory user local bin minikube okay so what for that what command you have to use sudo cp cp is the command to copy and then the file name and the location so just copy it and next you can just do that one and you are good to go okay and next to what we have to do we have to give a certain permission to that file so we can do it like this sudo chmod 755 done okay uh, you can check that as well we will go in that directory user local bin and ls hyphen l uh, we let me just increase the size and let me just clear the screen ls hyphen l if we do here you can see this mini cube okay and it has the rewrite uh, permission 
okay this is the execute permission okay fine cool so that part is done let's move forward uh, what uh, we have to do you have to check the version of that mini cube so if it comes then it means you have successfully installed the mini cube so here you can see its version is showing this 1.3.30.1 uh, okay mm. You can just ignore this. Uh, this is just opening. You have to just ignore it. Uh, moving forward, we have to what we have to install the cube CTL. So for cube CTL as we, uh, also, we will follow the same thing. We will just copy all those things, and then you have to just uh, install the cube CTL as well. Let me just come up on the home. Okay, done. So it will just uh, fetch all those things, whatever it's required. And next, what you have to do, install the cube CTL using this command sudo install. And then you can use the cube CTL easily. Okay, here you can go. And now let's check for the cube CTL version. <coughs> here also you can see it's showing the uh, all those things like version 5.0.1. Okay. So here it's showing because we have not started the mini cube right now. So that's why it's showing me this error. Let me just uh, close it. So finally we have installed the uh, cube CTL and mini cube. Okay. So let's see some of the things like we will just start the mini cube uh, uh, using the driver. You, you need to provide the driver what we have to use. So driver will be equal to Docker. Uh, here you can see pulling base media starting existing docker container. So actually I had already made one container. So what we can do we can just uh, uh, I will just uh, delete those content uh, delete those nodes Okay, so it will delete it will take some time and Then we will again create Let's clear this screen and we will just hit enter so it will create so keep, uh, keep in mind you should have two cpus uh, enabled like in the system setting of your uh, what we say when you will go in the settings and here you can see in the system you can see in the processor tab you should have more than two cpus that three cpus okay so these things you should keep in mind okay so it's creating let's see it doesn't take much time like it's a first time in your case also it can take much time okay so here you can see cube CTL is now configured to use mini cube cluster and default uh, namespace by default okay so it means like we can use cube CTL now okay so if we, we will check for the status so you can check the status with this command status so you can see all those things are running. So in this way, we finally install the mini cube and the cube CTL. So today we'll stop here and in our next class, we will see some of the commands. Okay, so that's it for today. I'll meet you in the next class. Thank you for watching.